Today we'll explore some beginner-friendly software to kickstart your 2D animation journey. But before we dive into today's session, let me introduce our sponsor, StudoX. StudoX is the all-in-one media collaboration tool designed for filmmakers, 3D artists, YouTubers, and anyone working on video projects with their team. It features planning tools that allow you and your team to collaboratively create detailed project plans, brainstorm ideas, and gather essential references. With script writing capabilities, you can draft, revise, and finalize scripts or story outlines in real time with your team. The storyboarding feature enables you to create and present visual representations of your story by adding frames, descriptions and scene and shot numbers, ensuring everyone shares a clear vision of the story's flow. Studio X helps you execute your content seamlessly while enhancing team collaboration. Be sure to check it out. The link is in the description below. Now, let's jump right into the topic. Cartoon Animator is the sort of app that reminds you of those commercial HR animation video apps that anyone can use, but with a lot more flexibility and options. The app offers a wide range of pre-made customizable 2D assets that don't need much to get animated. These range from figures, eyes, noses, and even mouths. In addition to these assets, there are pre-made actions or animations that you can drag and drop on these ready-made assets to animate them. These animations are also customizable within themselves with a rigging system that is made simple and accessible. The app also gives you the ability to animate facial expressions with pre-made expressions. The same applies to backgrounds and foreground elements which are ready-made and have their own pre-made animations. A nifty little feature is how there are three D options that give your 2D animations a three-dimensional feel. While Cartoon Animator takes simplicity to an extreme, Moho brings us back to a more complex approach to animation with a lot more freedom. For instance, it's not possible to draw directly in Cartoon Animator, but in Moho you can. You can draw using vectors, which are easily scalable without losing quality, and you can add effects and brushes to make them more interesting. In addition, Moho has an extremely powerful rigging and bone system, as well as the ability to make frame by frame animations. This is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the animation tools that Moho has. It is superb, as you will most likely find everything you need in one app. However, this comes with the downside of a steep learning curve. Luckily, Moho has an official free course that walks you through everything in the app. Users have also expressed their satisfaction with the app, and how intuitive it has become. Adobe Character Animator is an app that can match any skill level with its feature versatility. You can animate one character at a time, and the tools are so basic that it almost feels like a game. The other two versions are both downloadable software and operate mostly the same, except one is geared towards beginners and the other is a bit more advanced. The advanced version builds upon this. It allows you to create your own characters and use the full performance capture system. In addition, it has a more elaborate timeline system that you can use. Adobe Character Animator could be a great tool to help you dip your toes in animation and slowly build more skills to handle more complex animation processes. The first beginner friendly thing about Krita is that it's free and no one wants to spend so much money on something they've just started out and are not sure they want to be committed to. Another thing to note is that Krita might be daunting to a beginner because it's originally, for the most part, a 2D illustration software. And a lot of its tools are made for that. If you are not familiar with those tools, there might be a slightly steeper learning curve for you. In addition, Krita's focus in animation is frame by frame animation. So keep this in mind before diving in. Krita could be the perfect introduction to 2D frame-by-frame -frame animation for illustrators who have used this software to make their illustrations for some time now and are used to it. This should make the only learning curve the Timeline Edition. Photoshop and Krita are on the same level when it comes to animation. They both offer a simplistic timeline for quick 2D frame-by-frame -frame animation. They do not have any advanced 2D animation features, which makes them perfect for beginners just dipping their toes in. The one main difference is that Photoshop is a paid service, and it might be perfect for someone already using the tool for their other projects but wanting to experiment a bit more with animation. 
If you fit in that category, definitely check out Photoshop's timeline feature. The Flipper Clip is by far one of the most simple and easy to use apps on this list. One main difference is that Flipper Clip is an app and not software that you can download. It's only available on iOS, Android, Chrome, Amazon App Store and the App Gallery. You get the picture, you need a phone or a tablet device to use it. Another major difference that sets it apart from the other previously mentioned software is that it takes simplicity to a whole new level. Replacing the timeline with just frames and the tools with just a pen, a razor, selection, bucket and text, alongside other miscellaneous tools for music, adding images and videos, onion skin and so on. All in all, it has all you need, but made 10 times simpler. This is in part due to it being an app, so the screens that flip a clip is going to be used on are a lot more likely to be smaller than a computer monitor, so the interface needs to be as compact as it can be. But this also benefits in making the app beginner friendly. And that's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed our selection. If we missed any of your favorites, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to check out Studo X. That's all for today, and we'll see you next time. Bye.